up guys it's alan i'm back with another video go ahead and give me a subscribe because this is the best lawn care channel on youtube if you guys are just starting a lawn care business this video right here is a must watch we're gonna go over how to get your first 10 customers for me personally when i first started my business one year ago that was a big milestone because it gave you the confidence and showed you i could really do this but before we get into the meat and potatoes, I'm gonna load up my trailer because we got a busy one today. Oh yeah, and if you see this video, congratulations. You made it through 2020. It's New Year's, baby. So I don't even worry about saying all that. It's a new year, new me. Just go ahead and show people. Get your business started, get successful, make money, be happy. Let's do it. All loaded up, let's get into the nitty gritty. So to get your first 10 customers, honestly, you don't even need your equipment just yet. You will eventually, but right away, you don't. Let me show you what I did. So once I got everything situated and visualized how I wanted my business, the name, all that, I went to Visprint and got, I think, 300 cards. They look something like this. Just a one-sided little card I created on Vistaprint. And when those cards came in, I took them to where I was currently working and throughout the workday, I'd pass them out to everyone that I walked by and everybody that worked with me. Honestly, I didn't care too much about how the card looked. I just wanted to get my name out there as long as it looked somewhat okay, professional, had my name on it, my phone number, told them the services. I just wanted to get it out there and get to mowing as fast as possible. I passed out around 50 cards there. And out of those 50 cards, I had two people that wanted to go ahead with monthly service. So there was my first two customers with no equipment, nothing at all. And since I got those two customers so fast, I went ahead and thought back to all the other jobs I used to work at. And I called all those people that I was cool with, my friends, former employees, and seen if they needed lawn care services. And after I did that, I had four customers. Sit in the truck because it's getting a little windy. So for your first step, I suggest you go to where you work right now, pass out as many cards as you can, see if you can't scrumge up any business from there. And then if you have phone numbers from people you previously worked with, go ahead, give them a call, see if they can give you any business. And then from there is your second step. Since you already got your phone out, go through every single number and send them a text. Hey. I started a lawn care business. If you need any of these services, and that's whatever services you want to offer, go ahead, give me a call. We'll come by, give you an estimate. And if you guys like it, you like it, check out this squirrel. And if they like your price, wham bam, that's a few more customers just out your phone. Now the third step, it's kind of like the second step, but you're going to want to go on your Facebook and any other social medias you have and message every single person. I think I have 700 people on my Facebook and I message just about every single one of them. And I got a few more customers that way. From these steps I just gave you, I'm already at eight customers and that's with no equipment. And now step four. I would say this one is probably the most important because I still do it and I'm still constantly getting customers off of it. What you do, you take those business cards you have and you just walk around your neighborhood and put them on as many mailboxes as you can. If the grass is high, put on their mailbox. If the grass is low, doesn't hurt, put it on their mailbox. That's all you do. Right now I got postcards before I did it with business cards, but you just put it on their flag. You don't want to put it in the mailbox because I'm pretty sure that's a felony, but you just put it on the flag, leave it there, wham bam, get out of there. And then a couple days later, sometimes weeks, they'll give you a call and then you can seal the deal. So now for your fifth and final step, you hit your 10 yard mile marker. You have no equipment. What do you do? All those yards you just got, you book them for the following week and then the week that you're in, you get all your equipment. Equipment isn't the most important thing. 
You can use cheap stuff, you can use expensive stuff, it doesn't matter. But as long as you have all your equipment, by the time you book those yards, 10 yards, they really shouldn't take you more than a day. So the days after that, you could go out there and hustle and grind. With these five steps, you should be able to get your first 10 yards. It really comes down to, if you really want to do it, do it. You got to turn off this video, get your butt in gear, and get it going. They always say you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Drink up. And with that, I hope this video helps you. Get out there. Go get it. My name's Al. Go ahead and give me a comment. Tell me if you like the video. Give me some suggestions on what other videos I should do. But really, go ahead and give me a sub. And I'm not talking about a foot long from Subway. <laughs>